Welcome to race car. We have been given the curve Vt versus T, velocity versus time for the race car. The initial conditions are x0 is 0, the object starts at origin and what we need is to trace the curve xt versus t for the race car. Now we'll analyze the motion in different time slots like 0 to 1 second, then 1 to 3 seconds, 3 to 4 seconds to plot the curve for xt. Before that, let's remember the formula which we studied in the class and we noted that xt is equal to x0 initial displacement plus v0 initial speed times t plus half a t square. This formula holds for a motion um, with uniform acceleration a. However, this is when you are starting at time t equal to 0. Okay. If you are starting at time t equal to a, that is if you are considering the initial condition from time t equal to a, then the same formula um, changes to x t is equal to x a plus v a t minus a plus half a t square minus a square and this is very easy to derive just as we derived this formula all right so we'll consider now the uh, properties of the motion from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1 second uh, note that in this interval vt versus t curve is a straight line so this is a uniformly accelerated motion and the uniform acceleration is given by the slope of this curve which is 1. Thus we'll use xt and here the initial conditions start from t equal to 0. So we'll use the formula here xt will be x0 plus v0 t plus half a t square. Note that x0 is 0 because at t equal to 0 x is 0 that is given here in the problem and v0 from this curve is also 0 and xt is equal to half a t square a by the way is also 1 so xt is t square by 2 note that this is only for t between 0 and 1 now this is a parabola and we plot here in this curve at t equal to 0 it is 0 by 2 which is 0 and t equal to 1 it is half so the curve looks like this now let's see what happens between 1 and 3 between 1 and 3 we we see that it's a straight line so this is a uniform motion which means acceleration is zero Thus, we use um, the same similar formula, but now we'll use the formula here because we are st the initial condition for this part of the motion is from t equal to 1. So we will use the formula here. Note that don't confuse between this a and this a. This is acceleration um, and this a is the initial value of time. Um, uh, of time. So uh, maybe you can a bar can indicate the acceleration. So in this formula we'll just substitute the initial value of time a which is here to be equal to 1 and by the way the acceleration will substitute it to be equal to 0. So xt will be equal to x of 1 plus v of 1 t minus 1 plus 0 because the acceleration is 0. Now note what is x1 from the curve half what is v1? v1 can be found from this curve which is 1 times t minus 1. So this becomes t plus half minus 1 that is t minus half. 
so note just to check that at x at t equal to 1 this is indeed half so the curve is continuous now we'll plot uh, the curve from t equal to 1 to t equal to 3 so this will be a straight line at t equal to 3 it will be 2.5 so Let's say this is one, this is two, this is three, this will be 2.5, so roughly here. Now let us try to find values for t equal to three to t equal to four. Note that what is happening here again this is a straight line, so this is this is also uniformly accelerated, but the slope is negative. Slope is a equal to minus 1. So we call this motion as uniformly deaccelerated because there's a negative acceleration. Deaccelerated motion where a acceleration, or to be precise, a bar, because we'd use this formula here. Is minus one all right so again for this um, part of the motion the initial time is three hence we'll use the formula again here with the initial time a here being three so xt will be x of three plus v of three t minus three plus half minus 1 of t square minus 3 square. What is x of 3? x of 3 we computed 2.5, 5 by 2. v of 3, v of 3 is 1. This is from the curve here. t minus 3 minus half t square minus 9. If we simplify it will be minus t square by 2 plus t plus 5 by 2 minus 3 plus 9 by 2 14 by 2 7 minus 3 4 and uh, this is equal to minus t square by 2 plus t and this will be 14 by 2 um, which is 7 7 minus 3 is 4 so xt for time between 3 and 4 is given as minus t square by 2 plus t plus 4 and this is for t between uh, 3 and 4 just to check um, the function has should be continuous at t equal to 3 it is minus 3 square by 2 plus 3 plus 4 7 minus 9 by 2 and that is 5 by 2 so this is indeed 2.5 and uh, now Let's see what's the value at x equal to 4. At x equal to 4, it will be minus 4 square by 2, which is 8, plus 4, plus 4, which is 0. So this means uh, the object comes back to the origin at t equal to 4. So how will the um, and how will the curve look like? It will be a parabola, but because of the minus t square by 2, the curve um, like this instead of uh, like this, which was the case between t equal to 0 and t equal to 1. So it will be 